Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. These tools, where are they? They're too big for me to carry. Gladys will bring them when we board. Huh. Looks like you're all ready to go, Manny. Except one. Where's that piano player of yours? He's having a little goodbye party. I'll go get him. Tell him to hurry up. The limbo can't sail without him. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Together this time. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone, and, alone. and I, I thought to myself how the moon, how the moon that, that night cast, cast light its light on my heart's true delight, and the reef where her body was strewn. couldn't stay mad forever. Oh, I'm still mad, but nothing cheers me up like winning. Police Chief Bogan, Rubacaba's finest. Rubacaba's only, for that matter.
Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numéro 14, elle a gagné. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it. That calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they going to close it for? Huh? Yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! was right. These do look better chromed. Hello, crew! Hmm. They know I hate it when they ignore me. Hey, Gladys was... All hands on deck! Ensign! Ensign Arnold was just a kid. 
I'm sorry I led you into trouble, sailor. Oh, no. 